Hi there, my name's Chris, Application Engineer at Man and Machine UK. Welcome to my video on Inventor 2020 What's New. So the first thing you'll notice in the new Inventor is the visual style has changed to a new light theme. Okay, so not much has changed really. All the buttons are in the same place. They just look different. Okay. Another thing that's changed is we now have the support for dual monitors, which means I can take this tab out like so, and I could place it on another monitor and minimize the application. So I could have two, three, four monitors, each showing a different model. And when I want to put them back, I just drag them back in like so. Okay. The other thing, as you can see right now, I've got a different visual style on the ground plane. So at the moment, my ground plane in 2020 looks a bit like this, whereas in 2019, it looks like this. So slight difference there. There's also some graphics presets given to us now, which basically adjust the visual style of the model slightly and to a set of predefined settings, high quality, balanced and performance. Okay, so just a predefined set of settings to adjust these options in here. And the last thing you'll notice is when you hover over the default color now for selecting a face or, an, or a solid is a green highlight now to show that you're going to pick up on this particular face. Whereas in 2019, it was a white uh, highlight to show you what you were going to select. One other thing that's also been slightly tweaked is the thread image has been slightly improved. You won't notice any difference really. It's very slight, made a little bit sharper probably. Another thing we have in Inventor 2020 is the ability to install Inventor as a read-only mode application. This is going to replace the viewer. Um, so you do a full install of Inventor, but you select the read-only mode. And this will allow users without a license to access and open and evaluate models without taking a license, but also without being able to make any changes to the model. So you can see that we are in read-only mode. And we can do things, we can evaluate, we can inspect, but we can't make any modeling changes. One of the main benefits to this new viewer is actually being able to view an assembly and export the bill of materials. Okay. So we can export the, we can view, edit, well, not edit, but we can export the bill of materials straight to an Excel sheet, for example. I would be a little bit careful with drawings though, because it is possible with a drawing for a viewer in read-only mode to change a drawing and print it incorrectly. So just bear that in mind. I've essentially moved and changed the drawing before printing it. So I'm back in my Autodesk Inventor full mode, not read-only. Um, the next thing I want to talk to you about now is um, the new properties palette that's been brought in. So when you're editing an extrusion now, the, you've got this new properties palette, which probably it's a good idea to dock it on left or right side of your screen. Um, yeah, and this is just, it copies the, uh, the whole feature or the whole uh, palette that was brought in in 2019. So everything has this new palette now that you can dock 
Um, and the buttons are essentially the same, they just look different now. So it's just a little bit of getting used to this new palette. Yeah. Once you've docked it, you'll see that some of them have this palette and some of them don't. So for example, chamfered doesn't, fillet doesn't, hole obviously has the new palette. It came around in 2019. Okay, extrusion does. And there's a few others that do as well. I'm sure that eventually they will all have this properties palette. And it will all conform to the same visual style. So the next thing I want to show you is the new unwrap tool. Okay, so this allows us to click on faces and create a flat pattern out of any shape out of any solid okay you can see that it's unwrapped my faces as I select on them and when I click OK I've got a new unwrap feature down the bottom here which I could thicken if I wanted to and use that in my part or I've also got a view of my unwrapped surface which I could if I wanted to create a drawing view and even export it as a DXF as well which is pretty cool. Another new feature added in 2020 is the ability to sweep a solid as well as a uh, sketch so I can switch it here to solid mode and then select my solid and then select my curve and then define the output. If I want to add a new or join it, I need to specify the solid I'm going to join it to, for example, this one, then click OK. So we can sweep the solid now as well. One really nice tweak is now we have the ability to extrude an inner loop like so. So in 2019 you wanted to extrude that inner loop it would be very difficult to get the inner loop and it would end up picking one or the other. Whereas in 2020 you can see now we can easily extrude that that or that individually, making it a lot easier to work with. So there's been a nice little tweak in the sheet metal side of things as well. I've got a sheet metal part here and if I choose to mirror that part, you can see I've got an option here to link the sheet metal styles. Okay, so I use that is my mirror plane and click next. Okay, that if I drill down into my part, make a change to my extrusion here, and we'll make it 15, like so. What we should see is both parts update, which is really nice. We can also, uh, if I place here, find a pin, for example. We can also constrain, and this pin is obviously very small, um, but we can use the joint constraint to constrain the center of this pin. And if I hold control, I can pick up the center of a slot, which is really useful as well. I also want to show you that now I'm just going to come into my pin and take out my two threads out of my pin and then come back out into my assembly because now what we can do is we can place threads on at an assembly level. Okay, so now we can add threads on an assembly level, which is a nice little 
added feature. You may have noticed in the previous version, 2019, that you are able to specify naming defaults when you were creating a frame generator part. So what you were going to call the part with a prefix or suffix and where you were going to save them, for example. Well, now you can do the same for the tube and pipe as well. It just gives you a little bit more control over how you create new parts within tube and pipe. In a similar fashion, when you're using the shaft creator, we have a new uh, toggle, this button here, which allows us to choose how we save our part. So you can see that it's going to create a sub assembly, call it shaft one, with our shaft one IPT with this option. If I de check the option so it's off and click OK you can see that it's just going to create a new part on the top level wherever my assembly resides. So it's just a, a different option there to choose how you create a new shaft. So I've just jumped into the frame generator here and I've just created a quick frame around a 3D sketch. And I just wanted to show you the new MITRE functionality. So it used to be that you had to place multiple separate mitres but now you can click on multiple instances of frames and or and connect them up in one swoop which is lovely so another really nice feature in the uh, frame generator is the ability to add end caps on so we've got this new button here insert end cap and we can click on a face and decide whether we want that end cap to sit on the end or within the end, whether to have filleted or chamfered or sharp corners, etc. Um, thicknesses, the type of material, and then once you've picked up all the ends, you can just click OK and it will create your new parts and add your end caps accordingly. Bear in mind, you'll have to have the new content for this to work. So make sure you install the latest content when you install 2020. And finally, the lengthen tool has had a little bit of a makeover. It's a lot easier now to click on frame elements and lengthen it. So that brings me to the end of my demonstration of what's new in Inventor 2020. I'd say it's a pretty good release. Lots of nice new features for productivity and to make life just generally easier. Um, if you've got any questions, please feel free to contact Man and Machine, www.manandmachine.co.uk. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.